Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 13th of January for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you're new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. This week begins with us all coming to terms with that mighty stellium which occurred in the sign of Capricorn last week. This is making us all think about our role in life, anything to do with property, and we could find ourselves thinking carefully about our relationship with people who are older or younger than us, or our thinking around institutions, or even how we think about our goals and ambitions. They're very much to the fore. But Tuesday sees Venus move out of the friendly sign of Aquarius and into the more gentle, tranquil sign of Pisces. But it does, through to Thursday, forge an electrifying angle to Uranus, the planet of change, which is in the earthy sign of Taurus. This suggests that this can be a time to, in one way, go with the flow which is coming from Venus, but also be quite open-minded about who we can connect with around our relationship possibility. In an existing relationship, perhaps this is calling us to think about how we can reinvent it in some way, keep it fresh, keep changing and evolving, which comes from the mutability of that Pisces flowing energy. But also on Friday, Mercury replaces Venus in the sign of Aquarius. Now, uh, Mercury in Aquarius is a, a very positive transit. This is an opportunity for us to keep up the interaction that Venus and the midpoint of the Sun and the Moon encouraged us to engage with from the start of the year. And of course, also we have, uh, uh, we have Mars in the friendly go-getting sign of Sagittarius, and that's actually forging a very positive semi-sextile with uh, Jupiter right through this week. And of course, Jupiter governs Sagittarius, so I think that this can be a time when we can be more progressive as well, but especially when we're thinking about how we can make our resources work for us in a more enterprising way. But there is a quarter moon also on Friday in the sign of Libra. And if we do have to interact with anyone remotely influential, such as a boss, or perhaps someone who works for us, how we come across is going to be critical. Libran energy can almost see us try too hard, whereas Capricorn in energy is much more traditional. So it's just finding a balance between how we flex to deal with our relationships, uh, especially professional ones, without completely giving away our power, but at the same time being responsive to what's required. So this is a week uh, that does provide some real opportunities. It is true that Mercury is squaring up with Uranus on the last couple of days. Because they're both in fixed signs, I feel that when it comes to uh, more impulsive decisions or thinking around finances, it's just saying to us, before we do make the jump to actually do something, we do think it through. And also, we just don't get too stubborn or fixed in our thinking, which can come through Mercury and Aquarius, if there is a new idea that we need to engage with. Your specific forecast, Leo, suggests with that gathering of planets, the Sun, Saturn and Pluto, all in the very strict and precise sixth house of your situation, you are needing to take seriously this whole issue of life organisation, but also self-welfare, and perhaps also uh, being in a job which gives you genuine satisfaction. But with Mars in an excellent location for you, very creative, forging an ace angle with Jupiter, there is the potential for some fortune this week if you push forwards. Also, Venus moves on Tuesday into the part of your horoscope to do with shared resources. It's possible that someone you're involved with closely, perhaps a romantic partner or a friend, could have themselves some good fortune which they share with you. In a more romantic context, it could mean because Venus goes on to forge a great angle to Uranus, that this is an opportunity to reinvigorate your love life in some way. But because Uranus is in your 10th house of worldly interaction and Venus of shared resources, the financial fortune could be yours 
if you can push forwards and grab yourself a new role, but perhaps one that's a bit different, a bit more imaginative or innovative in some kind of way. Friday does, however, see Mercury move into your opposite sign. But this is a good transit. It helps you over the next 21 days to be a bit more detached around your interactions and to step back a little bit, to see it from the other person's viewpoint. True, Mercury does immediately clash with Uranus. So Uranus is both a positive and more challenging influence this week. I just feel that there could be someone at work who tends to surprise you a little bit and it's maybe a sense that you have to readjust to deal with them. Just try to take it in your stride. There is actually a quarter moon which occurs also on Friday which does ask you not to try and pack too much into this week. It's a time of the year when we're all trying to perhaps think about being a bit more virtuous but it's also important to pace ourselves Otherwise, you could end up trying to spin so many plates, one of them could get dropped. If you'd like to elevate your understanding beyond your zodiac sign and discover what the next 12 months will hold for you, you can order your 12 month personal horoscope forecast based on your personal birth data and your character analysis and get 30% off by clicking on the link beneath this video. But for now, good luck and goodbye. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.